The reason why I talked about my menopause was mainly because I couldn't believe how little I knew about it and how when I tried to find out about it, there seemed to be so many different opinions and different things said on the internet. It was like so confusing. One minute somebody was saying, don't take this, it's dangerous for you. The next minute they're saying, this is the best thing you can take. The next minute they're saying, take this herbal remedy. Then somebody's saying herbal remedies don't work. I was so confused. So I spoke to loads of people, spoke to my cousin. She was amazing. She's the same age as me. She said, do you think it might be the menopause? I didn't even, hadn't even learned the word perimenopause at that point. I go online, I learn the word perimenopause, and I think, oh my gosh, there's something that happens before your period stop called the perimenopause. It can last for 10 years. And there's like 31 different symptoms that you can have. And I was going through them all going, tick, dry skin, tick, dry eyes, dry mouth, dry everything. Um, irritability, uh, flashing rages. And I was thinking, these are all weird little things that I'm suffering from but I had no idea about. I did not know what was to come, but I did set about educating myself as quickly as I could. Basically, the first symptom that I noticed was night sweats. And that came out of nowhere. I woke up, I had a pool of water here. It was so wet, the bed, that I had to go away and put a towel on it. And I really, really had no idea what it was. Now I look back, I was so naive, it didn't even occur to me. I just thought menopause was hot flushes. I had no idea about night sweats, and I basically thought I was sick. Looking back on it now, I definitely had developed a little bit of anxiety. I definitely had stopped feeling quite like myself. I'd slightly lost my va, -va voom but it was all so gradual and so kind of sporadic, you know, it wasn't like a monthly thing, it was kind of all over the place, that I couldn't pinpoint it. I couldn't quite figure out what was wrong, but I just felt out of sorts. But I had no idea what it was, not a clue. No one had ever talked to me about it. I, I hadn't, I thought I was too young, I was 44. I, I thought it was something that happened to people in their 50s. I was still having my period, so I, I just didn't know what it was. I want to definitely let everyone know that um, perimenopause generally happens between sort of 45 and 55. However, it can happen earlier and I was early. So um, I went to the GP at 44. They thought I was probably too young, but actually I have hypothyroidism and that can make you perimenopause or younger. There are more and more women I hear in their 30s and even sometimes teenagers can be perimenopausal. So it's really worth, if you look at the symptoms and you've got the symptoms, it's worth getting checked out.